Our 30 at 30 update. We start you off with the Belmont. First time in four years. No triple crown at stake. Still a very memorable race, though, thanks to a dominant performance from a fleet Alex. Also won the Preakness, finished third in the Derby. Wins today by seven lengths. Randy Johnson outdueling Mark Mulder as the Yanks get a much-needed 5-0 win over the Cards. Just their third in 11 games. And Mike Tyson arriving for tonight's bout against lightly regarded Kevin McBride in D.C. Sports Center is there. Complete analysis at 11 Eastern right after the conclusion of the Bombardier Learjet 500. Todd? All right, thank you, David. We have had some great racing here as Thomas Schechter has indeed worked with Sam Hornis Jr. He has gotten past the 11 of Tony Kanaan. Thomas Schechter is out in front. Can he hold on? Closest finishes in IndyCar history, 24 ten thousandths of a second back in 02. And in 04, we had the great one Kansas between Vitor Mir and his teammate Buddy Rice. But how close will this one be? Right now, the Chevrolet Penzo Panther car seems to have it all figured out. But remember, over the radio, he said he would work with the Penske team and Sam Hornis Jr. Now, when it comes down with eight laps to go, Scott, all bets off? Well, all bets are off, and I'll tell you right now, Sam Hornis is one of the masters of going around the high side. Schechter's job is to sort of keep on the low side. We'll have to see. Let's go down and check in with Vince Welsh. Strange bedfellows throughout the course of this race. The Chevrolet team of uh, the Pennzoil Panther, Thomas Schechter, and the haunt of the Toyota-powered machine of Roger Penske's uh, car driven by Sam Hornish. Penske just told Hornish, stay right where you are. We're fine where we are. Make a move if you can, but we're happy with two. So uh, Sam Hornish seems to be in the catbird seat right now, but you know Hornish is never happy with second place, and he's won it on the uh, last corner on the high side before. No question about it, Vince. 27 career DNS for Thomas Schechter, he's not won since Michigan in 02. And Scott, what would this mean to this team and Chevrolet if he could pick up the victory here? Well, first off, be the first race they finished this season with their two main drivers. But the key thing, I think, right now, especially with Pennzoil being just down the road in Houston, Texas, a big coup to these guys because they know they have a lot of people up here watching them in this race. But the key thing for Schechter, he knows he's not finished so many races this year. Bad luck or what have you, you know. Only one win so far. He's a driver that probably should have five or maybe seven or eight wins so far in his career right now Todd and I'll tell you something I think once he gets that worst first one back here with the Panther team they're gonna maybe be on a bit of a roll it's the Chevrolet it's the Toyota and it's the Honda which one will emerge victorious it is still Thomas Schechter the man who grabbed the pole and really has dominated throughout this race he's had clean pits he's done everything right and right now it looks like a battle mano a mano with sam hornish jr the six red and white of roger penske is the platinum four of panther penzo with four to go this time by now three to go a lot of heritage in this family his dad todd the 1979 formula one world down. champion his father jody who was actually at indianapolis watching his son thomas the key thing, though, right now, Thomas just needs to stay on that low side, not allow Sam Hornish any room on the inside. Good to go, good to go. With two to go right now, the key thing that he also knows is that Sam is a master of getting the draft, the drive off that last term, as Vince was mentioning a moment ago, and taking the run and using the momentum and getting to the line first, coming out of turn four. We've seen it so many times before. Listen to him work the gearbox right now, trying to keep that Chevrolet engine in the peak power range. White flag, white flag. The white flag is out. The final lap of the Bombardier Learjet 500. Thomas Schechter leads. Sam Hornis Jr. sits in second place. As Scott pointed out, Sam Hornis Jr. has a history of faking you out and taking the inside or outside line. Schechter is definitely going to protect that inside line. If Hornis Jr. is going to make a move, it's going to have to be to the outside. He's looking as they come to the finish line. Thomas Schechter has exercised the demons. The Chevrolet, the Platinum Panther Penzoil car has taken the victory. Sam Hornish Jr. will take second. Tony Kanaan will settle for third. And John Barnes is one happy man in Texas tonight. John 